We are back on the couch. Another week has dawned. Yes. Uh, we we are, are getting into, we're continuing with sports. Uh, this is... Green Street Hooligans. Yes. But before we go on, we must say to smash the button. Smash it. Like, subscribe, all those things. Yeah. Yeah, all Good those job. things. Now back to Green Street Hooligans. I know nothing about this movie. Okay, well, I'll tell you what it's about. So Frodo is in from this place called the Shire, and this guy in a big pointy hat comes there and tells him that he has to take this ring all the way to a fucking mountain. These are all lies. In Mordor, <laughs> and drop the fucking ring in the mountain and melt it and destroy it, destroy all the evil in the universe, and everybody's going to be super happy after that. Otherwise, everybody will be destroyed if he gets it back. And the catch is, they walk the whole way when they could have just flown on some fucking eagles. <laughs> Which we find out in the second episode. Why didn't they just send them on fucking eagles? We don't know. But that's what uh, Green Street Hooligans is about. There we go. Is, there, is this like a gang of kids? Football. They're like supporters of West Ham United. Okay. So they call kind of them they call them firms. So they don't call them gangs. It's really more about kind of thuggery and like bashing the hell out of people and stuff yeah. like that. And fighting. So firms as opposed to fellowship. <laughs> and the, the firm of the ring. <laughs> I've seen it one time. Charlie Hunnam is the opposite to uh, Frodo in this from Sons of Anarchy. Shows something about like, you know, the hooliganism, I guess you call it, because, you know, Brit British fans are kind of known for hooliganism. Although it's not just who British fans that are crazy. It's like, I saw a video of at the World Cup, England was playing Russia, mm -hmm. and the Russian hooligans are way drunker oh. and they're just as bad. If I knew we was going to a bar mitzvah, they brought me f***ing skull cap. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Tottenham's due north. Are you lost or just He's stupid. You know, back when a major was doing your job, he wasn't nearly so chatty. I think you should get on the next train and f off better of it no, before something bad happens. Oh, wow. Holy shit. They don't mess around. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Okay, that's it's pretty brutal. Frodo! Frodo! <laughs> oh, he's a journalist. What did he do? Did he get canceled? Did he touch a girl's buttocks? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's been fired. Getting the escort. And they are gonna be an unstoppable team. You know that. I know that. Hey look, man, he was comeback player of the year. Not many guys have thrown over six thousand yards. Come on, you don't uh, that would never happen with me. Right? That's ten thousand dollars. I think it's a pretty good deal. I know you got screwed here, but I have my family's reputation to protect. A Van Holden getting expelled from Harvard. I've got a little more at stake here, Matt. When I graduate, totally hook you up. Take the money. Take the money. Take the money. No, he's gonna keep it. You're really saving my ass. Seriously, take the ten grand. You might as well. You're getting expelled. Take that money. I would expect it more than ten grand if I was covering for somebody. It'd be like a hundred grand. Missing out on that high price education. Yeah, really. You preach, Carl Buckner. I'm currently on assignment in Kabul, and I'm unreachable. <clears throat> there we go. Spend that money. He's leaving the Shire. Time to go to Mordor in England. Last spring, I got kicked out of Harvard, two months shy of my diploma. Ooh, that would Ooh. suck. I was about to learn. No Ivy League school in the world could teach me. That's way more than $10,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a million dollars. If, if his family's rich. Yeah, I guess his roommate. Yeah. yeah. The paparazzi. Mm, he's on the road. Oh, well, you're on the road to hooliganism, which is better. Hey! Hey! Was there a terrorist attack? What happened oh, here? Oh, welcome to Match Day Madness. Tottenham was in town last night. Are you a soccer fan now? Oh, don't let them hear you say the word soccer. Why would you have been expelled if you didn't do anything wrong? He was my roommate. He's a total coke. <laughs> yep. I found his stash in my stuff. That's what you got kicked out for? Coke? I had this shit in my closet the entire time. Wow. So you fought it and they didn't believe you? To be fired. You don't know who this guy is. He's a Van Holden. That sounds pretentious. Yes. A Van Holden. <laughs> a Van Holden, don't you know? Um, we have a guest. Ah. Oh, mate. I'm really pleased you're here, mate. I kind of made some plans for tonight. You wouldn't mind if we go, would you? Why didn't he just babysit? Yeah. Free babysitter. Aye, aye. What, bruv? Matt, this is Pete Steve's brother. Jesus is my brother, Matt. It's one of those. <laughs> Did he just pop that bottle off? <laughs> yeah, with his soon-to-be-broken-ass teeth. Oh, I had a roommate who used to do that all the time. I'm sure I am. All right. I'm taking him to... What are you doing here? I thought you were going to the match. Yeah, let me guess. You've lost your wallet. Every keys. Ah, 
There's a taxi outside. He's a bum. How are we? My colonial cousin. Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. I'll tell you what I'll do, all right? I'll give you a hundred if you take Matt here to the match. Oh, f off. You're having a bubble. And you're going to be on your best behavior, do you understand? Yeah, but that's probably still horrible. Come on, then. You don't give him the money. Okay, no way. Three minutes in, he's gonna hand him the <laughs> money. <laughs> or get taken from him. Come on. I'm going to the soccer game with Pete. Football, mate. I know. Football. This. Pete and those thugs. It's all right, he's a big boy. He can look after himself, can't he? <laughs> Give me off the money. I'll go to football. You can have a wander around where Churchill took a Tom. Tom? A Tom tit. Shit. It's Roman slang. Bees and honey for money. I could say it to you. Give me the fing bees. I'm not giving you the money. You ain't really got a f***ing choice, mate. Oh. Dance for me, Yankee. <laughs> Try that again, and I will kick the shit out of you. Yeah, the Tom out of me, I get it. I'm guessing not much of a fighter. Fight? Uh, nope. That'll be the first fight I ever had. Call that a fight. I will take you with me. You might learn something. About soccer? <laughs> no, man. Don't call it... Not about soccer. Soccer. Stop saying soccer. I'm sort of going into my place of business, right? Only thing regarded worse than the Yank around here are coppers and journalists. What do you got against journalists? The lying fing scum who write anything just to fill papers. What happens at football stays at football, right? It's like Vegas. Yeah, all right. Let's have some fun. All kinds of things going against you. He's down. a journalist, keeps calling it soccer. He's a Yank. Hey, right, boys. This is Matt Shannon's brother. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello. He's been in the tight for about 15 minutes, like Dodgy Ruby or something down in Bengal right. last night. Oh, look, look, he looks lost. No, Ruby Murray, mate, it means curry. We call it cockney rhyming slang. Slang. That's like sick, Dick Tank. For you ain't. Hello. Hey, oh, my brother. Hey. This is Matt, Shannon's brother. Hey. Oh, hey. That's the proper right. He don't give a f. Oh, God, he's done with a f. Mate, he's practically found. Oh, mate, he's fing found. That's a disrespect. Bob's miserable. <laughs> we love him dearly, don't we, boys? Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Oh, what's with all the fing babies here? You know, we had a meat set up for the day. What's the stay out the way? We look like right mugs if we set something up and our fearless leader don't show because he's playing Pinatel on a fing yank. You let me worry about that, white right, boys. As for the yank, double black belt in farewell <laughs> time. Easy fight. Look at the size of it. Bloody karate kid film based on his exploits. Really? Yeah. Really? Buttocks. Yeah. Come on, why not? You're lying already. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> this would be fun. Not so much the fing thrown down with like 10 other dudes, but you know, this part would probably be pretty fun. Yeah, I do not have the stomach for this anymore. <laughs> I'd be I'd be done after three beers and two shots. <laughs> well, what was your coach's name? Is, is it Miyagi? Miyagi Mr. It? Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. It's based on a real person. What? Yeah. Yeah. I love this argument. Imagine a situation where someone uses you in a fucking film and don't pay you, brother. Don't take it for science. It's not real, Mr. Miyagi! This is my song. This is our song. I'm forever blowing bubbles. That's the West Ham song. Yeah. Yeah. It might be showing you a bit of courtesy, you being Shan's brother, no? Get it straight. We don't like outsiders. Those two are gonna kiss. <laughs> By the end of this movie, they're gonna they're gonna shag on a copy. Hey Pete, look, I'm gonna head home. I'm not feeling so hot. Jet lag. Oh, fuck off, you're not missing the game. You're the one who wanted to learn about soccer. Well, I've heard them playing it at West Ham's games when I watch those on TV. That's awesome. Oh, even the little horses it's have the shields. The horses have shields. little shields. Uh -oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Uh, they're just going to skip in or something. With the most watched country in the world. Keep your head down. Sweet, in it. Yeah, that's a vibe. I'm here for it. I like that shaky camera work they're doing there. Mm -hmm. Help, help sell that action. Yeah. I love when a lot of times they shoot sports, they actually end up using just the camera operators. Because it's yeah, just they're easier. They're pretty good. They know how to follow the action. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, oh, shit. Right in the fing face. Wait, is he working on the sidelines? He got slipped. He got slipped in somehow. <laughs> Went in. Yeah. What mischief is he about to get into? I don't know. It can't be anything good. I know the bastard! <laughs> Quality sound. 
Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Oh, I know where I know that guy from. He was in uh, Band of Brothers. Sorry, I ain't over yet, boys. That one. Right, yeah, it's gonna kick off near East Ham, so. Tom, go then, boys. Right, let's get him. Maybe I should head home. Bank Station, right? Yeah. Don't get on East Ham, right? If you see any trouble, just turn around, walk your boy. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. The lamb has left the flock. This is a good one. Ooh. Uh, Look, I don't want any trouble. A f***ing yank. Why's the young one with the GSC? See, I don't know anything about the GSC. I'm just a tourist. How's about we leave you with a proper souvenir? Ever heard of a Chelsea Green? Do you take American Express? <gasps> Ooh, that GSC went so slap till he went the wrong behind. <laughs> we can't leave our mates behind. Ooh. I think he just used him as bait. Oh, you horrible bastard. Oh. No, he's getting away. Let's go. Come on. Come, come on, lads. Back to the Abbey. Who's Rancid? Who's Rancid? Who's Rancid? Who was that? Who was that? Oh! 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 Come on, Boosie! Oh, Anna! The fuck's that? Oh, man. Stand in there for your cunt! Fuck it up, you cunt! Bottles and bricks? I'm gonna say let's go. Stand your ground and fight! Just think of someone you hate! That's probably the first hit he's. What? Come on! Those bricks. Nice. Hey, hit him. Little windmakers. Nice to headbutt that one. Yeah, you really shaky cam in here too. Yeah, bunch of like handheld action for sure. Oh, he picked up quick. Oh, shit. That was an interesting filter. Yeah, they got some kind of like flare filter on there sometime. <laughs> you are a fing maniac, man. There's plenty of wood a bottle there, done a run at there, and you stood your ground. Proud of you. Who was he there? Geezy was just fighting. Jeremy Van f***ing Holden. Done yourself proud, mate. <laughs> well, now we've all stopped kissing each other. First bungee through. A little bit on the feminine side. What? A bit gay. Oh. <laughs> Ran in with a windmaker. <laughs> Wheel. He's doing a windmill. Windmill. Fucking journals. Look at this. West End wins 3 0, and our little scrap makes the headline. Bollocks journal bullshit. No, no, this. Yeah. The GSE. Yeah. We're a firm. Every football team in Europe's got a firm. Well, you've seen the bus the stadium rides on TV, innit? West Ham football's mediocre, but our firm is top notch and everyone knows it. Green Street Elite. Arsenal, great football, shit firm. What about Millwall? Millwall and West Ham firms hate each other more than any other firms by far. Sort of like the Yankees and the Red Sox. More like the Israelis and the Palestinians. Oof, that's an extreme. Their top boys is geezer named Tommy Atcher. Back in the Majors day, Tommy's son was killed in a scrap. Well, who's the Major? He ran the GSE in the early 90s when I was coming up. So basically, firms are gangs. Kind of. I mean, shooting a machine gun out of a moving car at an eight-year-old girl. That's just cowardly. Oh. But it's really about reputation. Doing something that the other firms get to hear and talk about. Like a Yank in his first fight back when one of the Birmingham's main lads. Yeah, he's right. He's only been in London for a day. But we stuck by our mates and we stood our ground. That's what it's all about. What did I say to you? I said to you one simple thing, no trouble. Yeah. What is it with you, Hey, Do you want Mum to come and visit you in Nick? Is that it? No, what happened? Shannon, I'm fine. Don't say to me like that! You've got the wrong idea! Stop this! Stop it! Damn. Babe, I'm so sorry. You definitely tell his brother is in a fall cry. He's like, he was probably used to be the, in the group. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, yeah. Fancy point? Oh, come on. You're the one got to buy the bleeding thing. <laughs> I guess these firms don't make a whole lot of money. Jesus, you two joined at the fing airport. What? Leave it there, Bob. It's getting out. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you was a couple of gay boys. But you're getting dangerously close to crossing the line with me. If you want to discuss it further, we can go outside. Ooh. Beers, boys. Hey, Bob. Come on, show shot, man. Hey, Matt. You're gonna say, hey, he's a bunch of, they're a bunch of Please thugs. Don't go. I don't want you to stay with me. Well, I want to stay with Pete. You know, Pete and his thug friends aren't the answer. Today, and you're leaving already. And... Well, look who's talking. You ran to another country after mom died. Ooh. This is like when he and Samwise broke up, and he took Gollum's side, and they went up the little stairs. <laughs> to Pete's Gollum? <laughs> yeah. Jeremy Van Holden sounds like a cunt. Foster's, ugh. I'd smash seven shades of shit out of him. What was you studying? Yeah, you better not uh, tell him. History. History? I teach history. You teach? Yes, cheeky slag. History and PE. Mr. Buckner is an American. Despite his prestigious education, still thinks that baseball is better than football. Oh, come on! <laughs> Hang on, boys. Now it's our job to save this even from his evil ways and teach him what really matters in life. Football! 
Exactly. Mr. Buckner will be goalie for the away colours. So how do we keep this fair? I should let every other ball go through or something? Wouldn't worry about that, man. Yeah, you're about to get... Yeah. <laughs> Kids live and breathe this sport. <laughs> nope. <laughs> He's about to get served. Nice. That's a good kick. That was like the Ginny Olympic football game, right? No, man. <laughs> Just regular English boys. These kids, he set me up, man. I'm in there. I'm in there. Oh, this guy. Yeah, he's gonna come in and just but that's it all up. Trying to have a good time. This guy, he's got some jealousy issues. Oh, that's right. He said this is the place that yeah, their worst enemies are. Yeah. He just. Ugh. Yeah. God, that looks horrible. So much gravy. My old mate Bobber. I'll say one thing for you. You've got some fing fun showing your face over this side of the water. You know, there's plenty of people around here love to kick your fucking ass, given half the chance, huh? There's four of them stood over there. One right in front of you. Yep. Now I said, what's all this bollocks I'm hearing about you having a little yank on the phone? It's only temporary. Do you think I might be able to get a bit of quiet here? Did you come over to Millwall? Did you come alone? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Excuse me a minute, Bob. Hello. Tommy at you. Yeah, I know. Because now you ain't got no fucking excuse, have you? We're not keeping that shit out of yours quiet. Oh, don't talk to me like that. George. Yes, he can. Your yes, he can. Stop fucking rabbiting since I've walked in here. Now, can I recommend that you shut her up? You can't tell me. Oh. Oh. That's enough. I'll tell you when it's enough, son, all right? Packy's called the old boy, my We best f off. I'll see you again. What is that? What is, the point? what is the point of you going over there? there? Well, I can't think of one. You didn't gain anything by that. Be gentle with her. And remember, left, left side. <laughs> Just two little words keep every hammer in England up all night. United away. Wait, wait. Where's Bother? His fing phone's off. Can't believe he's going to pull a runner for United away. Yeah, they're going to be gunning for you too, mate, after the job you pulled on their top boy last year. I might have gone a bit over the top. Where's Dave? You heard from him? You? Everything's just falling right into place, isn't it? Oh, girl, you can't just go up there with I can swill. Oh, no offense, mate, but we can't take passengers on this trip, all right? Go on, piss off. Yeah. Oi! Oh, there they are. Bother. Look, Bob, you want to play the wanker, that's fine with me. But leave it out until we've got to stay out the way, all right? So they're definitely going into dangerous territory. Millwell? Oh, shit. Came anyway? What are you doing here, man? Oh, ain't that sweet? Come, Come on, get Come on, get on. Get on. He got himself a little too deep in the water with this one. I'm here. What, Manchester? What's the pilot? Yeah. It's like 40 of them not waiting here, all getting very f***ing excited. Don't roll into Manchester, do you hear me? All right, nice one. We are f***ing waiting for us at the station. How many? Oh, we 50. Wait, Off the many. next station. An express train, don't stop till Manchester. Ah! Oh! Oh! Station first. You and we just got away. What's all about? It's what we live for. Okay, about 12 miles to Manchester. We need a couple of cabs immediately. Huh? Where's all the cabs? Hey, that's. I got an idea. I thought I told you to shut up. Oh, fuck you, Barbara. You won't. Oh, 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 what is it? Where the fuck are these? That train should have been here 10 minutes ago. Nigel gets that done and all to himself. They all know each other. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. Sorry, guys. We're with Paramount Pictures shooting the new Hugh Grant film. Any decent women in it? Cameron Diaz, I think. All right, lads, let this cup flow. <laughs> if only it was that easy. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds and I'll get the f out of here. Wow. Like, just, there's like seven of them. Ooh, can you imagine going into your work with a black eye and being like, you were fine on Monday? <laughs> How did they even get away with this shit? They're all video doing this. I mean, they, and they knew they were going. Break it up, break it up, break it up. Ah, oh, now see, they're gonna kiss. Yeah. Died that day in Manchester. Everybody knew it, but we didn't. Ike said later that the story traveled across England faster than the death of Lady Di. The GSE were finally back. Suddenly, I was part of the firm with the best rep in London. People around town had heard of me. You know the best part? It isn't knowing that your friends have your back. It's knowing that you have your friends back. Oh, he's going next level. He's committed. That was him. Tattoo. Wow. And as for this... <sighs> The violence, it grew on me. Once you've taken a few punches and realize you're not made of glass, you don't feel alive unless you're pushing yourself as far as you can go. You know what this has a vibe of? Fight Club? Yep. 
Papa. Hey, Dad. I had to find out from your sister that you were expelled. I tried to call. Why didn't you call me? I did. I'm tired of having a relationship with your voice, man. You say that you're set up. You don't, you don't contact your own father? We could have fought this together if you were innocent. If I were innocent? Yeah, what now, Matt? What's the plan? You just show up and decide you're the dad again? Just be a little hard on him. Yeah. I have to go to the London Times. <laughs> There's someone I'd like you to meet. Just an old friend from my Tribune days, I thought. You thought all it takes is a handshake from the editor of the Times and I'll have my old life back? It's just a free lunch. He's gonna go? He's gonna go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the quarter-final draw for the Football Association Cup. Mr. Phil Peters. <laughs> of course he works in a call center. Number eight, West Ham United will play Millwall. Yes! 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 Rap, this is gonna go away. You're not gonna believe what I've just seen walk into the Times. What? A little yank, mate. I knew there was something dodgy about that little You know, your sister's worried sick of us. She says you're running around with some kind of gang. They're my friends. It's a firm. Or are you at least writing about it? No. You may not trust me as your father, but as a fellow journalist, I'm telling you, your reputation is all you have. You gotta clear your name. I am keeping a journal. It's one thing you taught me I held on to. Hey, Steve. <laughs> How you doing? I, I gotta take off, Dad. I feel like Pete would still know his dad so as a journalist. So celebrating the drill yeah, with yeah, so... The draw? Wait, who did we get? Oh, come on, Steve, who? No wall. At home. Guess that's why I need you to join the old man's racket. What are you talking about? Matt did. Yeah, that's what Matt studied at Harvard. He was a journalism major. Oof. And now... It starts to crumble. So he's a yank and an undercover journal. So we'll have to give the boy two funerals. Wait, <laughs> Pete, no more. Hey. Steve, what are you doing here? I want to work with you outside. Why didn't you tell me you're doing journalism? Mate, to some people, yeah, it makes a huge difference. Well, what would you know about that? Now, I've got to tell my brother that his new best mate is a journalist. So me and you are going outside now. Toast! Stevie Dunham, back in the Abbey after all these years. Welcome home, Major. The Major! Oh, Major! oh wow. Oh, 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 the flat thickens. What are you lot doing here? Yankee? No. He's fucking undercover journo. Nah, bollocks. No, straight, mate. I see him down the times with all the other journals. Snugs in nice and tight with a top boy at a firm. Hey, what else was he doing at the times? His dad. Nah, that means fuck all. You sure of this, Bob? Because if you're coming in here like this, you fucking well better be. Not good, Bob. Not good at all. Keeps the journal. It's the journal part that's gonna be a problem, though. Hey, Keith, you know about all this sort of stuff? Ever this is. Yeah, just right there that on the desktop. Pete brought me to the Bridget Abbey pub on Walsh Road, his main hangout, and introduced me to his gang. Oh, look, we're fucking gang now. You happy now? We're all in here. So you're the major? All I fucking cared about was my reputation amongst the firms of England. Last match I went to was Millwall West Ham. We're talking a good ten years ago. Now, Tommy Atcher, he was their main man back then. He used to bring his 12-year-old boy to the grounds, and those Millwall started laughing at us. So I assembled all our troops and we hunted them down. They changed the uh, frames per second. It's not my favorite slow-mo look. I saw that little lad go down and I saw his skull get crushed <sighs> under the boots of the GSC. Wow, what a shot. And that's when I met your sister. She really saved me. And she swore she'd leave me if I ever returned to her. And when it comes back to me, and believe me, mate, it fucking does that madness. With Shannon and Ben, they remind me there's more to life than all. Yep. Get all those juicy details, mate. You f***ing journal! You sure you know what you're doing, Ed? Are you sure? You already knew. All I know is he studied journalism, but he's dropped out. Fat is journal. Full of stories about all of us. Just a diary. Ned saw you at the time. That was my dad. He's the journalist. You knew that. He's a f***ing journal, and you knew about it. He's trying to get anything. You shut the... up! I don't care who he is or what he's done. Don't! Do someone on the deck. He's gonna bury us all in wait. He's gonna That's sit down a wall. Can, can anybody who's down? Ah, uh, Steve, you're the major. Say so we got the biggest ruck of our lives coming up, and your brother's too much of a bold job to lead us. The GSC is peace for him. All right. The lot of you. Get a one. Go. That turned quick. It's kind of like it's violence, but it's kind of half fun in games. But like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's yeah. got some kind of rules to it. Did he switch sides? You know, we're gonna have to stop meeting like this, don't you, son? What you had a lover's tip? Yeah, you about that. Fucking yanks and undercover journal. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of booze now. What makes you think that I want to sort it out for you? Some majors there, too. Oh, shit. Oh, Steve, come on, bro. Really? 
He just so quickly did just turn his crew over like that. Why are you keeping a record? Kept that my entire life. Are you working for the Times? No. You've got to trust me, Pete. If I don't convince those boys that the head of their firm was not just taken by a f***ing yank journo, the GSE is done. So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to tell them that Bob's got it wrong and I had better be f***ing right. So intense. Oh, shit. <sighs> Is there anything else you want to tell us? Listen, Tom, please, this is how it's got to go down. <laughs> fucking come on! Fucking wait! Brass. Yeah, it's a fucking grass. Mate, I need you. Stay with us just for a minute. Can't lose his wife. I made a promise to my wife and kids, all right? And I'm sticking to it. The best reputation you can have is the one where you found family. Just like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, maybe they do take it too far. Took it next level. You're gonna burn down a burn bar, down a bar and burn thing. Jeez. Ooh, ow, that would hurt. Yeah. Tommy, I'm done with all this, mate. Had a son of your own, did ya? This I had a son once. <gasps> ow. You die tonight, and me and you are even. Put pressure on that wound, dear. Seriously. Yeah, congratulations. You just got the major killed. Yep. And widowed his wife and kid. Hey, hey, I'm gonna leave it quick. Yeah. What a dumbass. What the f did you do? Dude, pressure on the wheel. Oh, man. I hate that. Get out of my God, what? Can you imagine if they had waited till the... It's amazing how little I remember of this. Is it the bad, bad hand to the shoulder or the good uh, no, hand to the seriously. shoulder? This f***ing guy, literally Judas. Right? And like, and then he yep. gets, like starts whining about it. He's hanging on. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's hanging on. Okay. You, on the other hand, I mean, that's just like fucking crazy. What was the point? Yep. You always said trusting lads was my problem, Bob. And it was the whole time you. Yeah. This is how you prove your point? Backstabbing me. Kill my fucking brother. Come on, Tommy. Just say the word. I don't need you for that. I don't need you for anything. Else. Ooh. No, don't touch me, boy. You lost your goddamn mind. It's like, how could he expect to be back that, on the firm? It doesn't even make sense. Real talk, he never lied, though. Oh, no, she's gonna hate him. You yep. mother Boom. Boom. Yep. Hit harder. That ain't gonna do shit to him. Yes! You're sick! You're so sick! This one wasn't his fault. Like, yeah. In fact, it was your husband's fault. You know, letting that kid get killed in that fight. The dad did bring yeah. his son and, like, had him part of this. But they said never hit a guy when he's down on the ground. The kid was on the ground. Oh, that's so right. He stopped. Just kind yeah. of like yeah. past catching up with him. That you've turned your back on. Yeah, it doesn't, on mean, it doesn't yeah. mean the other guy's forgotten about it. For sure, for sure. Like you said, it doesn't feel like it's supposed to be about you know, killing. killing. It's just yeah. hurting people. We're leaving tomorrow. <gasps> no. It's not safe for us here now. It's not safe for you anywhere. Oh, women. Jesus Christ. Powerful, 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 powerful stuff. Well, maybe he did get his revenge. Destroyed his relationship with his wife. You let Tommy know I want to straighten that tomorrow. We finish this once and for all. What's going on? Yeah, where is she going? Yeah, we're on the noon flight to Boston. He was trying to protect us. She has to. So should you. I'm going with you to that wharf tomorrow. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, seriously. It's time to go out. I don't know where my home is anymore. I think we both know where we're dying. I think you should go to the fight. He's, he's, that's he, an honorable thing to they, do. They've instilled the you never leave your brother behind. He's this not, is an he's, honorable thing. Yeah. You can always go to Boston after it's done. This guy needs to go to that wharf too and redeem himself. If I was him, that's what I would do. Yeah, don't feel bad for him. Um, you can't you can't have done a worse thing. Ooh, that was a nice little wraparound. Yeah, he's gonna go. Of course he is. Got to go. You know that back home nobody's gonna care about your rep here. That would be a kind of a hard thing to leave though. You have so much respect in in this place with these people. You've been there for He's also got something to prove that he's not a fucking journalist puke. Or that he's he can stand up for something, right? He didn't stand up for himself at college. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna He's it out. wouldn't be a movie if he didn't go. No, no, for sure. I just. And you're a shit for walking out on your husband. He didn't even take a swing at that dude. He wanted no part of it. Yeah, you're rolling like, mad it's deep. It's like 30, 30 dudes. See, he's happy about it. Yeah. This is kind of like old school gangs from the 50s. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to rumble. Right. Yeah, 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 rumble. Gonna, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, he got some licks on him, too. Oh, yeah. He, got, he yeah. These are, shire. And these are grown men. <laughs> uh, grown ass men. Grown teenagers. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Uh, missed. missed. Ah. Uh, that did not look like a good punch. You should go in there with that windmill technique. <laughs> I think it's more about coming out of one of these things with some blood on your face. 
Then you just like oh. look like you look like you're tough. Then I thought you couldn't hit anybody when they're on their back. When they're on the deck, I think you, like that. You, I think deck. if you go down with them, you're fine. Ooh, good good kick to the face. Nice. Ooh. that kid got uh, 20 years on you, old man. Yeah, seriously. Good, no, that old guy. Oh shit, he's got an asp. That makes up for the 20 years. Oh, he's got oh, brass knuckles. Dude. That, yeah, exactly. Two by four there. That's the way. <gasps> oh. Yeah, at least one of you Dunham cunts are gonna pay for my f***ing boy. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh. Shut him! Shut! What the fuck is she doing there? No. It's the Dunham's war. Tommy Roos is that cop. Do you know what you'll do or what? Hello, love. Are you okay? You're gonna get it now, you little yank! You wanna make up for what you've done? Get my brother's family out of here. Oh, this is just. <laughs> yeah! Okay! Oh, here comes the big boy. We didn't kill your son, Tommy! You, you did! did you should have protected him, mate! He was your son! Get in the car! Don't leave a poor little hammer! Oh. It's like when everybody stops fighting because you're beating a guy so bad. Right? Eye for an eye, we both end up blind. Oh, what a shot. What a moment. Man. Now the major's gotta come back. Make things right. <laughs> Wife's gone, kids gone. Yeah, why not? Exactly. See what he's this doing? Is <laughs> Pete Dunham's life taught me there's a time to stand your ground. His death taught me there's a time to walk away. Yes. Well, congrats on the Epstein account, Van Holden. No, f you <laughs> very much, Mr. Van Holden. <laughs> Excellent. What a man. <laughs> oh, man. It's like an assassin. <laughs> You look like shit. Like start a conversation right there. Should at least offer him one. You said you'd hook me up. I took the fall for you to Harvard. You said you'd hook me up. They were your drugs, and you said you had more to lose, and that you'd hook me up. All right. Said... Yes. Call my office. Talk to Cindy. She'll make an appointment for you. That you'd hook me up. If... All right. Yes. I said. Oh, what the is this? This. My ticket back to Harvard. Give me that. Yep. I wouldn't do oh. that. Oh. Oh. Ooh! Aww, little Van Holden, little bitch. Bubbles, pretty bubbles nice. in the air. Beautiful. That was a beautiful nice. way to take us out. That was a beautiful way to take us out. Yeah, it had it had big Fight Club vibes. Tyler was like, you know, wanted to fight, and the other guy was kind of a wussy. Yeah, for sure. And like, you yeah. know, never had a fight in his life. I think I even said that at one point. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. crazy kind of honor, but I think that's what it's really about. Is like, you know, who's the toughest, who's the strongest, whatever. Mm -hmm. It seems like you know, it's a little bit of a you know, dick measuring contest, but mm -hmm. I think it's as important to get hit for them as it is to hit somebody. Yeah, I feel that so, way too. You know, it's like they walk out of there, it's not, they're not good until there's blood streaming from their chin, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, that, too, uh, that, that, that final whomping he took. Yeah, notice that the sound they used of him, you know, you know, have that punch on that, you know, that harder sound. Mm -hmm. but that just sounded like somebody hitting like a side of beef, you know, that, sla yeah, yeah, that yeah, slappy yeah, yeah. kind of like yeah. wet meat sound, you know? He fights for his own button and sword! Yep. Which is what like a punch would really sound like. Yeah, it was brutal enough that everyone stops fighting. Yeah, every, like when everybody <laughs> yeah. else gets quiet and be like, Hey, he's had enough. I don't know. Do they go to the cops? Like somebody has to answer for a dead body, don't they? Oh yeah, no, he definitely no. He's he's in jail. But I think that's maybe also like the honor among thieves thing. So it's like we don't we don't fuck well, with coppers, we don't fuck with journalists. Yeah, you know what like I mean? They, so they, they well, the cops would obviously ask who killed him or whatnot. I don't know. Would everybody go? We no. didn't see anything. They didn't say anything about the bar clearly because the guy was still out there. Sure. I mean, it's just a whole world that I'm not super familiar with. I Me mean, yeah, sure. I haven't been in many fights in my life and. Usually it's like one or two hits and that's the end of it. It's not definitely not ten other dudes swinging around. Oh no! I like mean, that. any fight I've been in doesn't last long, and, and then somebody's like pulling you apart. Yeah, exactly. Like the longest fight I want to say I've, I've ever been a part of was a house party. I'd say 10, 15 minutes of just people really going at it. Oh, and that's broke a long windows. Time. A guy got thrown down a flight of stairs. That, a, um, that sounds like a pretty good fight. It was. A, yeah, I was, was. I threw the guy down the flight of stairs. Oh, okay. The last fight I was involved in. 
was in Burbank. There was this girl, not with us, she was in another group, and she was just, like hanging out. And so this guy comes up to her, I think grabbed her ass, and then she like turned around and got up in this guy's grill and was yelling at him. And, 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 and the guy was like drunk. He was like this, like she's yelling at him. He's like, and then for some reason, Sean like got in between them and like turned on the guy and was like kind of pushed him away from the girl. And then this other guy comes out of nowhere and he gets in front of Sean. <laughs> And he's like, you want to go? You That's how go? fast that shit can escalate. Like, you want to go? Um, the next thing you know, PJ comes in. PJ used to be a wrestler. Mm -hmm. And so he gets in between Sean and this guy. And this guy was determined wow. to fight Sean, even though the guy was smaller because Sean's 6'3". Yeah. And PJ's like 6'2". This guy was like maybe like 5'10". Then it like it became this body rush, of you know, people pushing of people yeah. pushing. And so PJ and Sean and me... And then like the people behind this guy and just like this bo movement of bodies started happening. And this guy had his hand on PJ's throat and PJ was doing this number where he's pushing his chin down to keep him from, from choke, yeah. choking him. Yeah, yeah. And all I, you know, I'm like on PJ trying to pull him off the guy and then people trying to pull the other guy off and it's this whole mass of bodies fun. happening. Yeah, yeah. I never threw a punch. I never hit anybody. All I did was try to separate. This guy was like the instigator of this whole thing. Come to find out later, because this guy's a regular there, he had nothing to do with that guy who grabbed the girl. The girl, the guy who grabbed the girl, he's long gone from this whole, like the whole fight thing, he was not even a part of that. Yeah, they didn't Like care. he just was like drunk, he stumbled off and like our fight went on its way. He was nothing to do with the girl, nothing the to guy. do with the guy. He, he just, just he to. saw a fight happening and he was like, ah, let's go. Let's go. Or get and he was like, way, and he was like a stockbroker or some shit like that. <laughs> was some, and he was like, that's what the guy told me. It was some normal like accountant or whatever, some job like that. Because we went back and we asked okay. about it. So we'll do uh, how many uh, West Ham United logos, uh, logos you want to do here? Yeah. This was great. This one gets 13. 13? Yeah, I really like wow. this one. I love the dialogue. I love the walk and talks. I love the way it was shot. And 13 is almost Field of Dreams. Yes. I'm giving this one a nine. A nine? Yeah. Okay, we are very separated. There were some there was some dialogue in here that I thought was a little ham handed, like especially between the sister and the a little like weird. Oh, the B story of her of her. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Sure. It's a decent film. I don't think it's like Field of Dreams level. I think it's like taking it too far. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we will see you next next week back here on the couch. Go ahead and like, subscribe. We'll see you in the comments. Hit up our Patreon. Hit up our social media. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Madness. <laughs>